The Flash Forge Creator Pro is one of the most mid-range options you can find in the popular 3D printers category. To begin with, like many other printers, the Flash Forge Creator Pro requires manual bed leveling since it does not have automatic bed leveling. The bed level must be very precise to achieve quality prints, so considering this, the Flash Forge is made mainly for professionals. Additionally, the printer supports printing from an SD card and from a computer using USB. However, it does not ship with Wi-Fi capabilities, you can add these later as an add-on. As we stated, it comes mostly pre-assembled, but it still requires you to attach the printer heads, filament tubes and spool holders, which are fairly simple to assemble. The filament loading and unloading is easy to understand once you find the filament section under Utilities. Moreover, it's simple to use, but the bed leveling can be frustrating for beginners. Now let's talk about its features. The printer is open source with two extruders which allow for dual color printing or water dissolvable supports. It allows any filament brand and is not locked to Flash Forger's material. In addition, the heated bed allows you to print ABS filament with minimal warping depending on how well you leveled your bed, which can heat up to 130 degrees Celsius. To be more specific, the extruders can also reach high temperatures up to 280 degrees Celsius, which allows you to use a large variety of materials. The Flash Forge also comes with a blueprint bed sticker, so when you have leveled your bed correctly, PLA and ABS materials stick very well to the blue sticker on the bed. Furthermore, the Flash Forge Creator Pro makes it very easy to clear jams from the nozzle or from the stepper motor. Last but not least, the Flash Forge Creator Pro's printer quality is average for this price range. The printer can print overhangs very well, but has a hard time with small objects. The printer has a range of 100 to 500 microns, but even at the 100 micron setting, very small objects don't come out that good. But that is to be expected of fused deposition modeling 3D printers. Overall, if you're a professional and may be looking for a cheaper 3D printer, this could be your answer.